Wenn ich jetzt sage, the secret structure of great speeches, dann wissen die Profis, wen ich meine, Nancy Duarte und die wird gleich auf der großen Bühne sein. Uh, herzlich willkommen zum zweiten Tag der NSA Convention 2014. Ja, und dann würde ich gerne danach, beziehungsweise davor, sprich Steve Forbes, den würde ich gerne vors Mikrofon bekommen. Ob mir das gelingt, weiß ich nicht, weil der scheint hier ziemlich begehrt zu sein. Also alle sind ganz aufgeregt, dass Steve Forbes da ist. Gucken wir mal. I want to talk about your presentation skills. It was very funny, you use many rhetoric figures. Is it easy for you to grab such an audience? Uh, you have to uh, know your audience and respect the audience, and this was a very good audience. They, they were primed, and that makes a huge difference. Do you have any advice for upcoming speakers? What should they do? Know your topic and practice, practice, practice. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, da hinten ist Nancy Duarte, die schnappen wir uns jetzt auch gleich. Now you uh, compared a few famous speeches mm -hmm. and you found the structure of a speech by Evita Perón or Steve Jobs is similar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have and I've been analyzing even international speeches. Um, so there's, it, it works across all um, geographies. It, even um, in the Asian cultures where their storytelling structures are a little different, they've kind of adapted to the Western storytelling structures too. Is it tedious if every uh, story, every speech has the same structure? That's a great question because people love to work in systems, right? They want to follow rules and that's not what this is. So I, I specifically call it a form and not a formula because a form has more flexibility to it. And the example I gave on the stage was around uh, the, the sonata form, which I think Germany loves classical music, right? And if you can listen to one sonata by Mozart and another by Beethoven, and they're very different, yet it's the same basic structure. So the creative expression is what'll make it not seem formulaic. You told us that you had a bad grade in uh, speech yeah. communication, yeah. C minus. Um, do you think everybody can become a speaker? I do. I actually think people who are more scared of public speaking do better than the ones who will just wing it on a stage because they'll care, they craft, they work hard harder at it and they actually wind up being the stronger persuader than somebody who just wings it and feels comfortable being on the stage. That was very encouraging. Thank you very much. Thank it was you. an awesome speech. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having me. Jetzt ist klar, was wir tun müssen, oder? Steve Forbes sagt, üben, üben, üben und Nancy Duarte sagt, eine gute Rede funktioniert auf der ganzen Welt, egal wo, in welchem Land und sie sollte das wissen. Und außerdem hat sie gesagt, jeder kann ein guter Speaker werden, also äh, den Mut nicht sinken lassen. Und jetzt beginnen die Workshops. Ich stehe hier mit Scott McCain. Scott McCain ist einer der bestbekanntesten ähm, Experten für Marketing, Video und andere Dinge äh, bei der NSA. Scott, you are a superstar of NSA. Um, it seems like you know everything about speaking. Oh, why, why do you come back to the NSA convention? Well, two things. Uh, first of all, we all have to continue to learn. I think that's one of the challenges of a professional. I don't want my doctor to stop learning. I, I want her to continue to develop her practice. I, I don't want my lawyer to use law that worked back in the 70s and might not work today. So I think every professional has to continue to learn. How much time do you invest in, in creating this talk, which is a unique talk, right? You yes, can't yes. reuse that right. for any other audience. <laughs> yeah, one of a kind, yeah. There, there are segments of the presentation that it's part of my material. I talked about a signature story and then I used one of them in the presentation. But, but I probably put oh, 70 to 100 hours in it, at least 70 in terms of you know, developing all the slides. And I like doing my own slides because it's part of how I prepare and how I think about what goes in what spot and what's the logical progression of thought so uh, it, it, it takes a while but I think that's the key with all speakers so the, the more prepared you are the better the event goes Wow heute habe ich schon viele spannende Sachen gesehen aber jetzt gehe ich zum Chip Eichelberger und er war jahrelang bei Tony Robbins und Tony Robbins ist eine Legende in the speaker und coaching business und Chips Thema ist accelerate your business also wie können sie ihr Geschäft beschleunigen das kann sehr interessant werden Schauen wir doch mal hin. For the German audience, mm -hmm. for the German speakers, you know, they are like, 
very strong in process. Yes. But what would be your number one advice for them to accelerate their business? Well, again, I'd say we'd go back to one of the things I learned from Tony is that people would rather be entertained than educated. So wherever I've spoken around the world, mm -hmm. uh, people say, well, you know, that's kind of American. Well, people like energy, right. they like engagement. Very few people do a handout like I did today. Yes, yes. Very few people will ask the audience a question and have them answer and have them stand up and actually engage. So make it less about you, more about them. And so to get better, we talked about um, quality feedback yes. and deliberate practice. So getting videos of yourself consistently, uh, getting a quality coach, going back and looking, I talk about being switched on, your energy level. Um, I'll do an exercise when I'm training speakers, right. for example, where I try to get them to over-exaggerate. Too many facial expressions, yes. too much energy. Yeah. And when we have them, people in the audience in the training, the person doing it always thinks, oh, that was way too much. <laughs> but everybody in the audience yes. says, oh, that was, great. that was great. Peter, that was really good. <laughs> and then you go back and watch it on video and you go, wow. Yeah. So quality feedback, deliberate practice, mm -hmm. raising that, just making it more interactive, making it more sticky and making it more fun. Right. No matter how dry the subject, yep. you can find a way to make it fun. Exactly. Thanks a lot. Hey, welcome. Thank Fantastic. You. Thank you, guys. Das Wichtigste, das ich heute gelernt habe, war, wie Chip die Leute engagiert. Also er hat ständig die Leute hochgehoben. Die haben von den Stuhl gestanden. Er hat alle Sinne angesprochen und am Ende war diese Yes, das ist das Ritual, wie man sich in Top-Zustand bringt. Das fand ich großartig. Bevor wir von den heutigen Tag verabschieden, hat Martin Limbeck noch ein exklusives Interview für uns. Wer steht neben mir? Die Präsidentin der Global Speakers Federation, Leslie Everett. Und ich habe sie spontan gefragt, ob sie Lust hat, ein kleines Interview mit uns zu machen. Und hier ist sie schon. Leslie, what stands the GSF for? The Global Speakers Federation has 11 member countries at the moment and uh, we have speaker conventions around the world that are, are members that we support and encourage and cross-reference best practice and leadership best practice and support new associations coming on board to help individual members of those associations grow their businesses internationally, get more expertise in speaking in different cultures. We generally provide that support and resource and we're growing um, every, every month we get inquiries from new countries coming on board who really are expanding globally to provide that m massive cultural awareness around the world. CSP globally, what, what is that about? Yes, we're really proud of this new designation, the CSP Global. Um, the certified speaking professional in our profession is the highest award that a, a professional speaker can, can have, and that's conferred by America, Australia, and the UK. And this year, from the Global Federation point of view, we've established a global designation called the CSP Global, which really recognizes speakers who, who provide excellence consistently in international speaking and awareness of all things cultural and, and in terms of travel and running their business. And um, we have conferred 25 already and there's growing interest around the world from existing CSPs who want to now get their CSP Global. So we're really thrilled with that response. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, the Global Speakers Federation hat eben elf Länder, die GSA kennt ihr in Deutschland und von daher, das ist die Präsidentin gewesen. Vielen Dank, zurück nach Deutschland. Bye bye.